five is that the five pound brook trout hawk? Here's the five pound brook trout hawk. Let's hear it. Best brook trout fishing in the United States of America. Like a 12 or 14 big stones and brought big stimulators like four or six or eight, all on the edge. Well, that's in June, you know. So, so there's a ton of caddis larva in there. Mm -hmm. All right, that's good to know. All five, six stones. No. All right, good deal. All right, so it should be pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I've always wanted to go there. I'm just curious. Let me know how you do. What do you think about some E double G S's? <laughs> What's that egg? What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, eggs. Kenobi? What? Eggs, eggs, simple oh, eggs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, you're getting, you're getting to that fun. Try it. I mean, you know, they're going to be really good, or they, or they, or they won't. You know, I don't think there'll be any in between. And there, there's supposed to be a good amount of landlocks in there right now as well, because yeah. they spawn in oh, the cool. fall too. Twenty, averaging a pound and three quarter. Real fat. Wow, we're coming with the video uh -huh. camera. Uh -huh. The state's putting in another thousand big mouth. And they put in their 8,000, you know, 6 to 12 inch ones uh, last Friday. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, we have lions and tigers and bears, oh my. I'm in, I'm, oh. in the, I'm in the car with two wimps. Dude, can you watch the road? I'm in the car with two wimps, and we're going to catch some big brook trout and some landlocked salmon this weekend. But I almost forgot that I'm in the car with women and not men. So I have to drive very slow and carefully with both hands on the wheel. No, you just have to like slow this. drive so that we don't end up- I'm going 65, you bitch. I don't care about the speed. Stop the swerving. Uh, you know and what? Oh, <laughs> and the three inches from the other cars. Oh my God, here we go. You know what? I'm turning around, I've had enough. Something tells me that- That, that, that ain't gonna happen, because yeah. I'm gonna get some brook trout tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, brake lights. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, oh wait, a a Alex, start start complaining. Hey, please. Start complaining. Uh oh, am I going too fast? No, you're All driving right. like an idiot. You're driving erratic. I'm fine. I'm uh, I'm fine. Could you please try and stay at least ten feet away from the other cars? If he's got a I am car. way more than ten feet away now from the other cars. Now you are. Now when you swerved in there. All right. All right. Justin, do you have like a distance meter, like a cider, no, I think like like a hunting cider? I, called land, the mile marker. I think we should make this landmark. <laughs> I think we should make this. Set. Alex just called the things in the side mile land markers. Mile markers. <laughs> no, no, land markers. It is <laughs> no, the Statue of Liberty is a landmark. The Washington Monument is a landmark. The marker on the side of the road is not a landmark. I think we should make this segment about how not to drive. Like an idiot. I got a little tired of Aaron's driving, so I took over. Here's Alex sleeping as usual. Aaron's brand new Volkswagen made the trip. We weren't drinking while we were driving. We drank a little while we were there. Today, we're bringing you to Lakewood Camps on Maine's famous Rapid River. This is the last great place in the United States to catch a large wild brook trout. Of course, there's places where they're stocked big. However, this is one of the only, this is the only place where there is a remaining population of heritage strain wild brook trout in the United States. So hopefully, we can catch one you know, every year they get numerous fish in the five to six pound range, which for a brook trout is enormous, unless you went to Labrador. Maybe we can catch a 20 inch, you know, wild brook trout, five pounds, and a 24 inch um, wild landlocked salmon. So hopefully, you know, today's gonna, you know, the weather's great. Looks like it's gonna be a great day. A lot of great people here. We had some good food in the morning. We ate well. And uh, hopefully that turns into a great day on the water. Introducing Fly Fishing's Don Quixote on his way down to the river. It was a beautiful place that we were at, but it was quite a long walk down to the river. 
We didn't get footage of it, but the guard came out to greet us with the dam. I think the fish are in the tail out, Justin. That's the best spot. Here's Aaron looking for his five pound brook trout. He was willing to try just about anything. This one wasn't exactly five pounds. I'd say more like five ounces. And another gigantic wall hanger. I think Aaron's mind started to play tricks on him. Justin, this brook trout that jumped, is it, that came up, is an easy like five pound thing. What? Give me a fucking life preserver, I'll do it. Do what? Swim across. I've walked across shit like that in my sleep. Yeah. Maybe in your dreams. Yeah, we're gonna go down there. I don't think he heard what I had to say. No motor, ours doesn't have a motor. It's got the motor. Aaron doesn't mind rowing a boat. We're gonna get him here. No, no, like this is finally a spot where like I think we're gonna get something. He was sure oh the next God, place we're we were at we're gonna was definitely gonna, gonna be where he got the five pound trout. A salmon. This one wasn't a great fighter. But he sure liked flopping around in the net. He's fighting more in the net than out of the net. I think this was the brook trout of the trip. It was definitely a beautiful trout. Not quite five pounds, but worth looking at. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Aaron was excited to have it. Alex has never really rowed a boat before. But I wouldn't really call this rowing. I'd call it more like going in circles downriver. We are officially gonna de wader and call it quits. But not after Justin falls out of the back of the truck. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, it's okay. Just sitting here relaxing after day one with my uh, Bud Light from New Jersey. That's what we drink there. Uh, worn out is the only word I have to say. I took a couple swims. I usually fish until dark. <laughs> 4.30, that was it. I had to call it. <sighs> Just ready for bed almost, but we're going to have a one fantastic meal. As I said before, we ate dinner cold last night, and it was awesome. I can't wait to eat it when it's hot. <laughs> I'm Donna from Lakewood Camps, and I'm the chef here. And uh, we do three meals a day here. We do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It starts about 6 o'clock in the morning, and we usually get done about 8 o'clock at night. How's that cookie? As you can tell, Aaron really hates cookies. We were a little nervous he was gonna fill his entire backpack up with them. Let's go, Alex. Aaron, come on, get on the boat. Aaron was the last one in the boat. You know this guy? You don't wanna know this guy. <laughs> Sometimes we don't admit we do. Whit and Maureen were such gracious hosts. It was hard to leave Lakewood camps, but even the ride home was an adventure. You better back him up. <laughs> Here's Aaron, enjoying the view for one last time. Well, I'm glad you had some good luck today. No, it was, the fishing was really good both days, actually. Yep. You just yeah. gotta get out of bed to get there. Some cobwebs, some Diet Coke. <laughs> Some old Chinese food. That's it though, no brain. 